Hey everyone, RobWiseGuy82 here. No, I'm super late, sorry about that. Uh, this is my new comic book day haul for February 21st. <coughs> I'll do uh, my pull this video tonight when I go to work. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Alright, so I finally got this right here. I just picked this up at uh, one of my LCS's, the uh, uh, Wonderland comics. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 234. Pretty darn good shape. It's got some issues up here, a little bit of a roll. But uh, they, uh, so a couple weeks ago, I tried to get uh, a copy. And they had one, but... I may have said it, but, like, you couldn't even see, like, it was, the top of the marvel right here was at the very tip top of the page, so this whole top of the word was, of uncanny, like, you couldn't even see the top of the T, that, or the E, that's how bad it was cut off, <clears throat> but this, uh, I had to get it, because, uh, this was the cover swipe for Teether, number one, pretty freaking awesome, mm, teddy bear. So I was looking for that for a while, and so glad I was able to get it from my LCS and didn't have to get it on eBay. Uh, okay, so got a bunch of books, some number ones, a um, bunch of number ones actually. And uh, because I'm not sure about uh, this time thing, again, um, I'm uh, I'm not going to be reading it off. But I got a uh, Krusty the Clown number one. Uh, I think it's just a one shot. Deathbed. Uh, Joshua Williamson, Riley Rossmo, love Riley Rossmo art. Hit Girl number one. Uh, I've heard uh, good and uh, bad things about this, uh, but I love this uh, Kim Jong Gi cover. Uh, this right here, I'm excited for uh, Ariella Christan Christantina uh, doing the artwork. She did the artwork for um, Insects from Aftershock Comics. Uh, this one, uh, artwork, uh, I, well, the artwork, uh, has intrigued me even more on the interior. I wasn't exactly sold on it, but, um, yeah, the artwork looks good. Really glad to see this back, Heathen, number six. This has been really good. Great story, great artwork. Uh, number six, you have Vault Comics. Uh, this right here I'm excited for to see again. Uh, this is Lucas Stand, Inner Demons from Kurt Sutter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Going to be four issues. Uh, this right here, Storyteller, number three of four. Uh, this is the Tyler Jenkins. Awesome. Uh, I've heard good and bad things about this one too. Punks, uh, Punks Not Dead, number one. Uh, I got it for the Sinkevich cover. If you know, for nothing else, I'll, I'll still read it. Uh, man, I can't believe that uh, this is coming to an end. Uh, number twenty-three, Department H, and uh, God, this has been just one of my favorites the whole time. I vividly remember when it first came out, and. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's uh, you know, because I'm still relatively new. It's been what coming up to four years, uh, since I bought my first comic, and uh, yeah, so still very new. And uh, oh man, this has just been so good. This is also one of my favorites. Birthright number thirty. Great cover. Oh yeah, only five minutes. All right, I still got a but I got a bunch this week. Um, this right here is the, uh, Little Robots, I think, Little Robots, uh, December 27, awesome Dustin Nguyen artwork, good to see this again, Sarah Vaughn, Jonathan Luna, this has been good, uh, Eternal Empire, it's another really good one, Evolution number four. Horizon 18, I think it was a couple months, a couple month break for this one. Uh, this was a great <clears throat> first issue. 
uh, anthology type series. Ice Cream Man, number two. And then I got... I was able to get two of these. Love the colors. Maestro, number five. Artwork uh, on the cover is same as the interior, and it's freaking great. Another one I'm really, really excited for. Monstrous, number 14, I think. Yeah, pretty sure I don't see it on there, but... Mm, awesome. Uh, one of my favorite female characters, Micah. Good to see this back. Moonshine, number 7. Uh, Prohibition era werewolf story. Uh, excited to see about this. The artwork looks really good in this. Um, Raphael Ianco. This is uh, Postal, Mark number 1. I think we're going to have Laura... I don't know if there's anything beyond that, but next one's going to be Laura. Redlands, number six. Regression, number seven. Glad to see this back. TMNT, uh, Batman TMNT, number four. Got the Eastman cover. And... Uh, I gotta be honest with you, uh, I'd like to hear from any other Turtle fans out there, but I think whoever did the new designs for them should be ashamed of themselves and never be allowed to work in the business again. Batman, 41. I love the cover. Freaking awesome. Who was that? Um, oh yeah, Mikhail Janin. And then, <clears throat> for the books, uh, my regular pull list books. Eternity 18 for uh, Bill Sienkiewicz cover. That's an awesome one. Right. Uh, and then I just got a bunch of uh, books for the covers too. And uh, there's a couple more Trump books. I think they're second print ones. They've been around, but uh, oh, I had to pick them up anyways. How the Trump stole Christmas. Pretty sure they're second print ones. These are fun to have, though. The tremendous Trump. This is the Retro Mastered Edition, it says. This isn't the best Stephanie Hans cover. I'm, I'm really upset that I wasn't able to get that, uh, that freaking X-Men Blue. What the heck, man? My shop didn't get it. It's not like anybody else was able to get it, but they didn't order enough. And uh, I would have liked to have known, you know, I wonder how many they got. You know, because if they got like 30 or 40... I mean, it obviously would have been worth to, you know, if I got to get like 10 of them, that's an extra 40 bucks. And plus, you know, if you do it like that, obviously, I don't see how they could charge you what they normally would for the book if you're the one who's putting up to get them. So, yeah, I don't know. I would have I would have liked to have known if that was an option. I wonder if, if anybody else has done that. I think, uh, oh, you know what? I think I remember somebody doing that for that, uh, for that, uh, 150th issue of The Walking Dead. It was like a 25 cent issue. I think uh, I saw a video. Somebody like bought over a hundred of them or something to get that uh, that one in 200 black and white variant. Uh, not my favorite Eddie Granoff cover, but Wolverine Eddie Granoff for Infinity Countdown number one. I always like it when they do. Uh, a different cover for the second print. This is Old Man Hawkeye number one. And this is just, uh, I, I didn't notice it at first, but my uh, buddy Patrick at the shop pointed it out. It's just a panel uh, in the book, but it's still a great one. I like it a lot. And then I love uh, Dustin Nguyen is one of my favorites with the watercolor. So I'm getting the uh, Super Suns. And then these are fantastic. I don't know, it doesn't even really matter which one to show first. Um, I'm going to try to pick the rest of these up too because I mean, they're just freaking gorgeous. 
uh, Joshua Middleton. And then uh, uh, Stepan Stepan Sajek. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A couple more. Alex Ross. Uh, I've, so I've heard a couple of different ways. Tarna, Terna, and then I heard somebody pronounce it uh, Tarna, which almost sounds right. I wonder if there should be like a little apostrophe. So uh, Tarna sounds like it would be uh, what it would be for books like, uh, well, especially specifically for a heavy metal book and and that uh, that style. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're gonna move on. <laughs> couple of Alex Ross covers. I had to get both of them. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I've heard good things about it. The artwork looks freaking phenomenal inside. And then, this is the last one. Uh, had to get the... Uh, just gorgeous. Uh, uh, Vampirella. I forget, oh, did I write it? No, I sometimes write it, but I didn't. Um, yeah, virgin cover. Had to get it. Beautiful. Sexy. And that's it, guys. Um... So hopefully, I think the last time I uploaded a video, it was uh, still under 15 minutes. Um, and I'm at like 12 and a half right now. Or I mean 11 and a half right now. Man, I've gotten a lot of books for cheap. And man, I got a bunch to show. I got a few videos. So I'm going to make, uh, here, let me show you this. Um, I got a couple of... Uh, There. All right, so I got uh, these were all like a couple bucks each. Sword of Sorrow. Uh, these got, as you could see, they've got some issues on them. I'm gonna get replacement copies for two of these books. Uh, Jenny Frizen cover, and then this is the other one that I'm gonna get replaced. Uh, this is uh, Damsels, I think number two, uh, Linzer Virgin cover. Freaking awesome. And then this. I'm pretty sure, I might have this, but I don't remember. Uh, so this is the 1 in 100 variant of Cluster from Boom Studio. Uh, this was one of the first books uh, I picked up from the beginning. Uh, I think it was 10 issues, and it was great. I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, for a couple of bucks, I got another 1 in 100 variant for uh, my Boom Studio collection. And then this one right here, I've been trying to do some research on, and I can't get a definitive answer yet. Um... But this is Giant Days number one. I don't know if this is another of the 1 in 100 variants. It was listed the same from this place uh, as this one. I just... There's another one up there. Uh, but again, it doesn't say if it's the 1 in 100. I almost think it is. But I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Um, and then the last one I got, another... Uh, so this is my third one of these. I got it for uh, like four bucks. Rowan's Ruin, one in 100. I mean, there can't be more than a couple of dozen of these if they add around. And yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Freaking awesome. Uh, and then they just threw this in. So this is a uh, one in 10 variant for uh, Toil and Trouble. I think it was a six issue miniseries. There's a couple of other really awesome variants that I got for it. And, uh, Really good artwork, and uh, I've got another big book that I got, and uh, a couple other things that I'll show you guys, but uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, I'll see you guys tonight for uh, the pull this video. Peace, love, and comics. God bless.